your old pal Uncle Noli, back with all the advice you ever thought you didn't need. What? Doesn't matter. Let's go! Our first question comes from Straight Edge Josh. Uncle Noli, do you like anchovies on pizzas? No, I do not, Josh. I'm gonna tell you something about anchovies. They're stinky little fish. They look like eyebrows, and they smell like they, they swam out of someone's ass. No anchovies. Now, you want to put a little in the Caesar salad? I mean a little that gives that a little bit of thing? Maybe, possibly, keep it off your pizza. It's gross. Ugh. Mushrooms, too. I mean, it's fungus. Grows out of cow shit. It's gross. Pizza. Don't screw it up. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Samar Khan. Hi, Uncle Noli. I'm 18 years old and I always end up getting angry or overreact and say mean, hurtful things, which I later regret to girls I really like. It's the reason I haven't had a girlfriend yet. What should I do? Whoa, Samar, buddy. Chill pill, my friend. You gotta relax. I mean, all this anger, I, I would say you gotta figure out where it's coming from and then, you know, take care of it. And you don't wanna just tamp it down, stuff it down, you know, because then it's just gonna boil up over eventually. You know what I mean? So, hey, listen. You're hurting other people because you know you got some kind of an issue or a problem. You got to figure out what the root of that problem is and get over it. it. Sounds like you're kind of being an ass. Don't be an ass. Be a good guy. It sounds like you want to be a good guy. So, the best thing you need to do is to slow down, figure out where it's coming from, and start being nice to people, especially to your lady friends. I mean, I mean, hey, if you want love, you got to give love. Nobody loves an asshole. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Tracy. Hi, Uncle Noli. Serious question. I have a stutter when I talk and can't speak up when in a crowd as my voice isn't confident enough. Do you have any advice? Love your show. Thanks. Aw, oh, Tracy, I feel for you. You know, a lot of people deal with speech impediments, all different kinds of speech impediments. Now, you got all kinds of therapists who can actually help with this. And they can correct it. Uh, you know, I understand it's hard, you're self-conscious, you can be a little embarrassed, but you know what? Stay true to yourself and get out there and you can fix these kind of things and you'll find that confidence. It's really hard. But hey, King George, all right? King George's speech with Colin Firth, this is someone who, who rose to the, 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 the crown of England and he had a speech impediment. There's been all kinds of people who deal with that kind of stuff, okay? So, don't get down on yourself. Stay strong, and you will find that confidence when you can start, you know, managing these things that you're dealing with. All right? And don't worry, your Uncle Noli loves you. Now, all right, get back there. I want to hear back from you on how this is progressing. All right? Go get him, Tracy. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Anna2204. Dear Uncle Noli, how can I stop procrastinating? Oh, Anna, you know, I get this a lot. Uh, people procrastinate, they put things off, you know, but uh, if something comes up, we got a short attention span these days, and hey, uh, you know, you, you gotta stick to the task. The best way I learned to stop doing any kind of procrastination is make a list, and don't go to the next thing on the list till you can cross that one off, all right? That way you can't be putting off. Sometimes we get scatterbrained, and you're like, oh, but now I wanna do this. No, there's too many distractions in life, especially in this day and age, right? So, make your list. Check it off one by one. All right, good luck to you. No more procrastination. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Anna2204 again. Hey, Uncle Nole, how do I learn a semester's worth of classes in one day? My exam is tomorrow and I don't know anything. So, Anna, you're the same one who just was procrastinating. And now you're doing it with classes. All right, listen, here's the deal. You gotta put in the work. You gotta put in the work if you expect results. The procrastination is getting into your education. Stop it. Stop it. Make a list. Get detail-oriented. Become more disciplined. That's how you do it, all right? You can do it. You can do it. Boom. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Big Bald Trainer. Uncle Noli, what do you do when the guy you train's junk falls out of his shorts? Ooh, oh, that is a conundrum there, Big Bald Trainer. 
I suppose if uh, it's a handsome gentleman and you're uh, of that persuasion, you gobble it up like a pelican. Big bald trainer. I ain't talking about fish. Boom. Our next question comes from Caleb V. Uncle Noli, what's the best way to get rid of a rat? Rodent or snitch? Hmm. Well, Caleb V, if you got a rodent rat, you call an exterminator. Everybody knows that. If you got a rat snitch, call an exterminator. Right, Frank? Chairman of the board. Boop. Our next question comes from Big Dick OG. Dear Uncle Noli, do penis pumps work? <laughs> With a name like Big Dick OG, I should be asking you. Don't put your dick in a pump. Ever. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Alex Ryall. Uncle Noli, every time my girlfriend asks my opinion and I give it, she just makes up her own mind anyway. Is my opinion worth anything? Oh, Alex, your opinion means a lot. It's just not to your girlfriend. But don't worry about it. That's the way of the relationship. Your girlfriend might not, you know, follow your opinion, but she still wants to hear it. And then she makes up her own mind, like all people should, okay? Just be there for her. She wants someone who listens, that she knows cares and, and shows concern for her thoughts and her feelings. You're doing your job by giving the opinion. Don't have such a big ego that you think she's got to follow you like you know everything. Because you don't. Neither does she. We make mistakes. It's okay. Everybody learns on their own. And most importantly, remember this. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And then most of them stink. Wisdom. Uncle Nole knows. Our next question comes from Goat Turd. How do I keep from wasting my life on a job I don't like, Uncle Noli? The money doesn't concern me. Well, Goat Turd, if the money doesn't concern you, quit. Why would you do a job you hate if you don't need the money? You don't like the money. Don't want the money. Hey, listen, it's okay. Move on. Get something else. Find something you like to do. I don't care if it's waiting tables, if it's uh, you know doing electrical work. It doesn't matter. Do something you like to do. Life's too short. Got that? Goat turd? Goat turd? Boom? Uncle Noli no. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again next week with more answers to your questions. See you then!